Hello, Dave from Guitars, 1950 ES 150. Yeah, anyway, that's my poor attempt at playing jazz, which is ter terrible, and I'm sorry for all the jazz people out there, you can now officially take the P word out of me. Anyway, as I say, 1950s Gibson ES150, called uh, one ES150 apparently, because that's how much it cost when it came out, $150. ES obviously stands for Electric Spanish. Um, this is the first successful hollow body, apparently. Uh, again, I don't know how true that is, but I would guess it's probably about right. Um, this is a really nice guitar. I say there's not much to demo. Single P90, dog, dog ear, dog eared P, P90. Volume, tone, usual Gibson tailpiece. It's huge. It's the size of the house I live in. Uh, lovely headstock. The serial number for guitar is on the headstock. I'll show you that in a bit. Um, but let's show you this P90 on its own without a backing track. So this is just, you know, tone up all the way, volume up all the way. Uh, let's, do, let's just do... play fast on it. <laughs> I'm not very good at playing fast on uh, these kind of guitars. I'm not really a hollow body person. But yeah, this is a really nice guitar though. I mean, if you love hollow bodies, I mean, you don't go much better than this. I mean, the condition is almost immaculate. It's got a few dints and dents here, there, and there everywhere. But it is nice. I mean, you can hear the, like, the bit, of, bit of bark from a P90 as well. If you hit it really hard. Yeah, listen, and listen to it acoustically. It's got a really nice tone, tone about it. I say tone off. It's even darker, you know. It's very, you know, it's just a straightforward jazz box. I think that's the way you. I think I where you describe it really it's very nice the the uh the the trapeze the, the inlay on the first fret is confusing a bit because it's like hey <laughs> but it's a really cool guitar say so all original no replacements it's what it sounds like with distortion because jazz people are going to kill me It just does this. Sounds like a whale. Um, yeah, as I say, very short video because I say there's not a great deal to demo on this really, but um, hopefully you get the idea of what it sounds like. I and mean, it's a great sound. And say, if you just stick like an overdrive on it. <laughs> Overdrive works nicely. It's got, again, it's just a P90 bark. It's just really cool. Okay, I'm going to show you it now. I'm going to unplug it after I mute everything. I'm going to plug it. I'm going to put it in an original case because, believe me, you'll want to see the original case. And I'll give you a nice, juicy close up of this guitar. I say it's from 1950. All original, original case. It looks like the case in its lifetime is um, kind of um, kind of beaten up. Well, it's taken a lot of a beating, should we say. 
you can hopefully see I'm getting out of the toggle out of the way. You can see there's the colour. I mean, it is in like really good condition. This is its original case, obviously. You can see. There's the headstock. I don't know if it'll be able to pick it up, but there's the serial number. Hopefully, in the light, you can just kind of kind of see it. Very strange place for it to be, but there it is. You know, mother of pearl inlays. Lovely mother of pearl inlays. That's wear, string wear on the case there. Lovely guitar, absolutely lovely. Dog ear P90. It is slightly checked as well. I don't think we can quite pick that up on my camera. Nope, not quite. Now, let me close the lid. I say, this is what I mean by the case has seen better days. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, there's the top of the case. Or original case as well. Just a stunning guitar, really. It's really nice. I say, one last fucker. Come on. I say, ES 150 from 1950. Thank you very much. Goodbye.